All right, guys. So what we're going to talk about today is chemical equations. And so we've been talking about the elements, which are represented by chemical symbols. And we've been talking about compounds, which are represented by chemical formulas. So today we got to figure out how we use those things and how those different compounds and elements join together or break apart to become new substances because all the stuff that's on the periodic table makes up everything in the entire world, okay? So let's talk about chemical equations. The first question is, what is a chemical equation, all right? A chemical equation is a super simple way to represent a chemical reaction. And in your mind, you might be thinking, what is a chemical reaction? So a chemical reaction is just when you have two or more substances that bond together or combine to make something new, okay? Or it's when a substance breaks up into different substances. So maybe you have one substance and it breaks into three different substances, okay? That's a chemical reaction. So it's either making something new or it's breaking up into its own smaller substances and it's gonna be something new again, okay? So chemical equation is just the easiest way for scientists to represent that bonding or that breaking apart. Okay, there are three parts to a chemical equation. Super simple, not hard at all, okay? So this is our chemical equation, Na plus Cl2, and arrow, and then NaCl, all right? So the first part we're gonna talk about are the reactants, okay? Reactant, I think of reaction because those are the things that are going to react together to start to make something new. So they are the starting substances of our chemical equation. So that would be Na and the Cl2, right? Those are our reactants, there are two of them. If there is only one, then you would just say reactant, okay? The next piece is our arrow. Oh, my thing is a little bit covering it, but the arrow just says it means that a chemical equation has taken place, our chemical reaction has taken place, okay? So that's what that arrow means. You have to have that arrow to tell you that some type of chemical reaction has taken place, all right? And last but not least are our products. So hopefully you know if you have a product, that means that you're making something. So those are our ending substances in our chemical equation. So that's what happens when the reactants have gone through a chemical reaction and it creates a product, okay? And if you can see, there is still Na on both sides and there are Cls on both sides, but on this side, they are acting separately. They're in their own environment. But then when it goes through the reaction, they bonded together to make NaCl, which is table salt, if you never knew that. Okay, so just to remind you the definitions, reactants are the starting substances in a chemical equation. So that's what is on the left-hand side of the arrow. So that's what is before the arrow. The product is the ending substances in a chemical equation. That's what's after the arrow because that's what is made through the chemical reaction, okay? So super simple today and super simple tomorrow when you practice and you show that you got it um, to understand what a chemical equation is. So you just need to remember those three parts, reactants, the arrow, and the products, and then you're good. Okay, so now go take the mastery check and make sure you understand. If you don't, go back and watch this again. It's a very short video. All right, go ahead, guys.